Hello, hello. This is the uh, first step of the chromatic and sweeping exercises. So you can do this on the acoustic guitar or electric. I probably recommend electric actually, it's much easier. Uh, and I recommend using headphones, you know, for the benefit of everyone else, because they sound awful. Uh, so you don't want to do this for too long, just 10 minutes, maybe twice a day maximum. Um, the first one is basically just eighth notes. Just like that. Do it to a click. So you can play all the way up here, stop, increase the click with two or four BPM. I think two is a good idea because then it's, you can barely tell that you've increased it. And you don't have to worry about how far you get today, you know? Because tomorrow, if you write this down, say you start at 75 BPM or something like that, you get to like 84, or, or it would be 85 if you do two at a time. Um, that's, that's all right, you know? You don't have to break the world record today. You got the 16th notes as well. Much quicker, right? So don't worry about pushing the first one to any great heights, because this one's easier to play really fast. Uh, play that um, increase with 2 BPM, definitely small increments once with the 16th notes. And then the most interesting one is the uh, triplet, because now you're changing the weight of the downbeat. One, two, three, four. There, there, there. So each finger gets a workout in this way. Very, very important. And when you can do all of them, uh, as in, you know, you can do them. Don't worry about how fast. Just when you can do all of them, try them like this as well. So down, 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 down with this hand. Try to get the pick flat onto the string. And then up. This is much more difficult. This is eighth notes. And then you got 16th notes. It's the hardest one, triplets again. One, two, three, 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 one. If this hand all of a sudden does an upstroke where it should have been a downstroke, don't worry about it. Just focus on the rhythm. Keep that pick flat against the string, because it sounds better that way, and this sounds so horrible anyway. So try to get the rhythm perfect and get the tone perfect, and then uh, it won't sound so bad. And that's a good thing in general anyway to practice. So do all these three exercises, but in two different ways. So that's six exercises, and you'll improve your accuracy, your speed, your right and left hand coordination, your rhythmical awareness, and your timing, being in time to that click, really, really important. I want you to really stay with these three, I'm gonna call them three exercises, these three rhythms rather. Stay with them for weeks, maybe a month. There's no rush. You've got time. Uh, there's six to six to practice overall, but they will start with these first six so make sure that they are really comfortable no problem at all you're not slipping with the pick you're not fluffing any notes don't worry about playing them fast if you can play them well so they sound decent and in time to a click at different tempos don't worry about how fast just different tempos to a click then you're doing really well if you can do that for a few weeks happy days then you can move on see you in step two